636. We check back in now with Mike Apple and more on U.S. President Donald Trump's promise to put these tariffs on certain goods. Uh, tell us how it's affecting the markets because right now we know that it is already. <laughs> it's going over like a ton of bricks, Tammy. I'll tell you, this morning we're looking at the Dow futures down 200 points. Uh, the Dow was down 420 yesterday. It's seen uh, three consecutive losses of more than 1% uh, coming into the Friday trading session. And you just sh showed that uh, Twitter quote uh, from the U.S. president this morning. And I think the key uh, two words in that are the uh, top talk of a, uh, a certain country, $100 billion trade uh, differential between uh, the U.S. and a certain country. And that looks to be uh, hinting at China specifically in this trade dispute. But, uh, you know, you've also got the implications currently with the NAFTA negotiations ongoing. Uh, Canada's a big buyer of U.S. steel. We obviously have reciprocal trade through Stelco and other producers. But uh, where does this go? It's the uncertainty at this point. Which countries, uh, which companies specifically, and what would be the reaction from China, for example, if there's a 25% import uh, tariff on steel coming out of China, which is one of the global producers here, the biggest. And there's been this long, this is not something specifically new. Trump hinted at this during the election campaign because uh, there's been a big pushback, actually, about the uh, uh, importation of Chinese steel into the United States by those companies specifically affected. So this has got a lot of legs, likely, but it's the uncertainty in the near term that is taking the global markets specifically lower this morning. Looks to be a sell-off at the start of today's trade. Also interesting development in the U.S. political spectrum this morning uh, regarding the ongoing talk about U.S. gun control in the wake of the Parkland, Florida shooting. And one of the biggest gun producers, American brands, which uh, American outdoor brands, which makes Smith & Wesson, warned last night of slumping U.S. gun sales. And that's sort of the inverse of what we've seen previously, where Americans typically have purchased more guns on the fear of a U.S. crackdown on gun ownership. So that stock of American outdoor brands down sharply this morning by as much as 13%. So again, we've seen this change, this wave potentially out of corporate America in reaction to the latest uh, mass shooting in the United States. And maybe, just maybe, a change in attitude. We'll send it back to the studio. Interesting, too, as I was, I was looking at some, uh, some lists this morning, Mike, and uh, China is actually like the 11, is 11 on the list of who's, who exports steel into the U.S. or from mm -hmm. where the U.S. imports. Canada, number one. Uh, and then a lot of arguments going on. Well, it looks like uh, Trump himself and all his buildings bought nothing but Chinese steel. <laughs> because it's cheap. Yeah. It, it, is, it is less expensive. And then you bring in the trade, the, 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 the fact that, you know, American buyers of Canadian steel already get a 25% discount because of the currency exchange. And they've been, you know, targeting the Chinese exchange rate mechanism. So does that play into this? And again, which country is the main target? If it is China, that really ramps things up uh, globally, more so than it's Canada, obviously, Kevin. But uh, <laughs> can they just be specific? Yeah. You know, that's, just, that's, it, the, that's the unknown right now. I think it's a case, again, of Trump just spouting off and saying something against his advisors. Uh, we that's, saw the stock yeah. market take a big tumble yeah. yesterday. See what happens at the open. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting day.